Hi friends. Welcome to Midweek Meditation. This season, we are doing Midweek Meditation on the go. This means that we've created it so that you can participate and be with God and connect with the scripture of the week wherever you're at this summer. As we begin, I invite you to get yourself into a comfortable place. You may find a seat that is comfortable. You may wish to sit on the floor, wherever is most comfortable for you. And as you do, notice how your feet connect to the ground. Notice whether the ground is soft or it's hard, or maybe you are sitting on the grass. What textures are there where your feet meet the ground? You may want to take a moment to place your hand on your heart and hear your heart beating in its own unique rhythm. You may wish to take a few breaths and notice whether those breaths are fast, slow. You don't need to change anything about your breath. Unless you're noticing that you're breathing a little faster than you usually do. If that's the case, you may want to just take one breath in and out slowly. You may notice that there's tension in your body. If there is, Turn towards it, notice it, acknowledge it, and if you can, release at least a little bit of that tension for now. You may want to do this from your toes to your ankles and your calves, your knees, up to your back even your shoulders, your neck, even your face. And as we begin, I invite you to notice how you notice God with you at this moment and at this time. We'll engage in the scriptures in two ways. We'll begin by hearing the scripture, and then we'll look at an image that an artist has created around the scripture. As you hear the scripture, I invite you to keep noticing where God is, keep noticing your body, your breath, your heart. And as we look at the image, you may wish to recenter yourself, to breathe in and out. Let's hear our scripture. Our scripture for this week is John 20, 19 through 29. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. 
if you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Listen to the artist's statement about the image. This image is titled Grieving Thomas. Thomas Meets the Risen Christ by Lauren Wright Pittman. The artist says, when the unimaginable happens, we can find ourselves drowning in doubt. We flail, reaching for something to bolster our faith in a sovereign living God. Here, we see Thomas needing tangibility. Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. Thomas has just experienced the death of his teacher, close companion, and the long-awaited Messiah. Reeling in grief, Thomas needs a buoy to keep him afloat. Jesus offers Thomas peace, meeting him where he is, instead of offering condemnation or a condescending nickname. He welcomes Thomas to do what he needs to find footing. But we aren't told that Thomas actually acts upon the invitation. Instead, he says, my Lord and my God. Thomas is separated from Christ in death, and all he asks is to be close to him again. Instead of poking Christ's wounds in doubt, he reclaims relationship with Jesus. When I visited India, I learned of St. Thomas Christians. It is said that during Thomas's extensive travels, he began several churches in southern India. To this day, people proudly identify with his name. These Indian Christians do not define Thomas by his doubt. They define their own faith by his ministry. They know Christ because of Thomas. Thomas moved forward from that place of doubt, and his impact stretched to the far southern tip of India. I chose to depict Thomas rubbing his eyes as he awakens from his grief to the reality that Christ has not left him. Lotus flowers, a symbol for India, swirl around his head in the waters that imagine the depth of his mourning. His ministry blooms out of this raw, authentic moment of appropriate doubt. Now that you've heard the artist's statement, do you identify with the artist's reflections? How does hearing the artist's statement influence how you see the art? How is this image cohesive with the scripture? If you were to paint this text, what imagery, colors, and details might you include? Take another breath as you come back. I invite you to ask yourself a few questions. What did this meditation invite you to do, to see, to create? And what wisdom did you gain from this. You're now invited to concentrate on a prayer that you might have for today. 
or a prayer that has been weighing on your heart. And we'll pray together. Let's pray. Holy One, we're so grateful that we can take this time and this space to be with you. We're grateful for the wisdom that we have learned and all the things that we've been invited to do and to feel through this experience. We pray all the prayers that we name and that we pray only in our hearts. We're grateful that you are a God who hears all and forgets none. Bless us all as we go throughout this week. Amen. Go in peace.